uh, we're doing French buttercream because French buttercream is part of the pave that we're going to be making. We've already done the hazelnut meringue buttercream and that's in the oven. So now we're going to do uh, this. I have egg yolks. This is um, a lot simpler, I think, than uh, the Italian meringue. Uh, and what I start out with now are nine yolks. And these are room temperature. I'm going to use a whip and I'm going to beat these on high until they are ribbony, which means they're going to uh, expand and get real fluffy. So we have one pound uh, and 15 ounces of butter and over here I have already used what's called a bain-marie in French or a double boiler where I have uh, put some water in making sure that it doesn't touch the bottom of the bowl and brought it to uh, a very, very low uh, simmer. Actually, simmer is, is below boiling. And I've allowed that to melt. And I re actually removed the chocolate before it was all melted because I wanted to keep it as close to about 90 degrees as possible. And I just continued to melt it. And it is now uh, shows a ribbon when I do this, which means it's cool and just perfect enough to add to the buttercream, which I'm going to do uh, at the end. Uh, what I have here is corn syrup and super fine sugar that has come to a boil and because it's come to a boil now I'm going to add it to the beaten egg whites. This is going to have to beat again until it's cold. So you can see the steam coming out. It's going to take a little while for this to cool. And as when it cools, it'll be ribbony and fluffy, and then we'll add our butter. I throw the butter in, I'm trying to miss the whip for obvious reasons. And again, we don't want to miss any of this great butter. And I'm going to again help the mixer a little bit, scrape. And so now I'm going to add my Belgian chocolate. You don't want any water, so we're going to do this. And chocolate is funny. It sometimes uh, grows. Uh, it seems to grow and multiply because uh, it is, it has a mind of its own sometimes. And there are chocolate people who do chocolate all the time and they pride themselves in being n as neat and uh, tidy as possible. But if you find that chocolate is a little unruly, not to be discouraged. Okay. Now we're going to beat this in. And we'll use this extra chocolate to clean the bowl here and just make sure we've allow that chocolate to be combined thoroughly. All right, and then we're going to add our flavor. And again, you can use uh, any type of liqueur, or if you want to just leave it, uh, add a little bit of vanilla, or you can just leave it plain because this is rich by itself. But when, in, when possible, I like to add a little kick with the little complexity of liquor. This is a brandy. We'll just turn it on slowly so we don't want it back in our face. All right. And now we just have the best buttercream.
money can buy here. Absolutely delicious. 